It's Lighter Crusaders. So what's the real reason for the bathroom wars? It's very simple. It's because the leaders on the left hate objective truth. And there is no greater and more obvious objective truth than gender. So if they can eliminate that, then there could be nothing left standing. Think about it. There, there hasn't been some great scientific breakthrough in gender science. No one like suddenly decided to care. Like 99% of, of Democrats have never once given this uh, a thought in their entire lives. And now all of a sudden, it's a right for a male to use a woman's bathroom. What happened you know, two weeks ago? Here's what it is. It's just the next step in the left's war on objective truth. It's progressivism. Everything is relative. Who are you to say you can't judge? There's no such thing as right and wrong. You know, it, it's been easy, actually, to tear down faith. Just call its followers bigots. It's easy to tear down Western traditions. Just call them all racist. Redefining marriage? That was a stumbling block to overcome for the left. No problem. They're on to their next conquest. And dare I say, their greatest effort yet to destroy the very concept of gender. I know it sounds crazy, but I'll never forget in college 10 years ago, my roommate Josh busted down our dorm room door and said, Slater, you're not going to believe what I learned in class today. The word bisexual is no longer appropriate. And I said, why? What, like, what do you mean? He said, it's because that implies that there are only two genders. You know, Facebook has 58 gender choices. There's a school in England that asked four-year-olds to choose their gender identity. So the goal here is to take gender from a scientific and biological concept, right? Males have XY chromosomes, female have XX chromosomes, and turn it into a mere concept, a choice. This woman is making a real-life argument against infant gender assignment, as she calls it. She says that when a doctor assigns a newborn with a gender, that that's only the doctor's opinion. Who is this doctor to say if this baby is a male or a female? It's merely an infant. And when it gets older, it can decide what, if any, gender it wants to identify as. There's a high school in Los Angeles added transgendered bathrooms. Here's one of the students of the school. These bathrooms provide safety and comfort about, you know, also about labeling. Um, back then, you know, you had to make a decision whether you should go to the boys' one or the girls' one. And, you know, gender fluid people, you know, one, you know, one day they can feel like a boy, one day they're, you know, they're a girl. Ten years ago was the first time I ever heard any of this. And now we have kids in high school talking about choosing genders one day to the next. Now, listen, you'll never believe that it, there's anything more than two genders. But the next generation is being raised right now to believe that gender doesn't exist. But again, why the bathroom wars? It's not because Caitlyn Jenner needs to go to the bathroom. It's progressivism and the broader movement to eliminate the concept of truth. What better way to do that than to eliminate the concept of female and male? You eliminate that foundation and nothing else can stand. The idea of family can't stand on top of that, right? What has a family always been? A male and a female come together, have kids. But if there's no such thing as male and female anymore, then there's no such thing as family anymore. Do you see how that works? A Navy SEAL friend of mine the other day said that this is the result of a bored society with no real evil to fight. Now, is a Navy SEAL saying that? So he knows that, of course, there are real evils to fight. And we could focus on them if the left wasn't picking fights about bathrooms.